What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, I'm going to talk to you about SoFi. Pretty crappy day, regardless uh, how you see it. I want to give you an overview of some of the current data points, whether today was justified or not, and go over everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So, SoFi did go down 4.18%, had a low today of $7.48. Craziness, but a lot of big money was clearly getting into SoFi. 53.06 million shares have been traded. 53.25 is the average. These are some of the transactions that have occurred on the secondary market above $100,000. So another continuation from the last couple of days where big money was buying SoFi. So I think overall that's generally a good thing despite the CPI. So in case you do not know or you maybe live under a rock, you don't know about CPI that came out today. It did come in a little bit hotter both on a year over year, month over month. So of course insinuating that maybe the rates might not be cut as soon as what a lot of people did anticipate i did warn of this over this last uh, several videos and plus over my weekend video the first sign of essentially i guess the hope associated to cutting rates as soon as that was to diminish then you are going to see a significant pullback even looking right here so this goes over all the estimates on when there might be rate cuts previously for june the 12th it was a little bit bit higher but more specifically July there was previously a almost 65 I think it was percent chance or likelihood of a rate cut now it has been slaughtered down to 35 even looking for September the 18th during that meeting no real kind of outlier uh, same goes for November so people are now automatically just turned very negative that there won't be any rate cuts if anything maybe one throughout the whole year so I think in reality that's just not a good sign for the broader market so let me know your thoughts on that because in reality i think that cpi in among itself wasn't all that bad because if you do look at the basket items uh, so it did go up 0.4 percent on a month over month majority of that was due to energy so 1.1 the energy basket went up so meaning the other basket items went down so that's generally a very good sign in the past the market has taken this exact information and ran with it significantly higher so of course that dip got bought but in reality the only aspect of today that is different from previous cpi uh, results and reports is that hope associated to rate cuts is diminishing so that's the only fact why sofi did go down today there was no actual news no sec filings nothing along those lines no new analyst ratings so it was just piggybacking off of the technicals as well as CPI data. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. But aside from that, though, just to give you a good overview, despite the fears in the broader market, though, shorts did return 1.61 million shares. 16.67% of the free flow is being shorted. That works out to be 165.52 million shares overall are being shorted. And I did break it down in the video yesterday. Of course, the NASDAQ did disclose as of the 28th, so March the 28th. So this is where they disclosed a 17.5% of the free flow being shorted. So Ortex takes that information and adjust accordingly so this is why you do see how it dipped from about 19 to now 16.67 percent so again uh, still regardless 16 percent leading into their upcoming earnings is still relatively too high for me my own opinion so i do feel that shorts will probably continue to return leading up to their earnings probably settling around the 14 percent range but then again i could be wrong that's just merely a guess and plus kind of logic you would assume that shorts aren't that dumb but still uh there has to be someone that loses in the broader market looking at options 4.5 million dollars in calls being purchased versus 2.57 in puts so dollar value wise a lot of money still getting into options sentiment not much activity so 47 percent of all the options being done today were bearish and of the call options that were purchased there's a consensus for it to be above eight and then vice versa looking at puts you see a consensus for it to be sub 750 but just to give you an overview of the current open interest for the calls you do see a very strong wall at that eight so 34,000 at that eight dollar strike price and then 17,000 at that 750 so right now it is above 750 so in theory 
this is again just more speculation and obviously piggybacking off of the broader fear shorts probably might try to suppress it below that 750 mark um, but again we'll just have to wait and see so that's definitely has happened time and time again is a lot of these I guess shorts and whoever the market makers are correlated to options do work uh, side by side they have to there's no other logical explanation on just a lot of the activity that's happened in the past this is right here all the transactions that have occurred on the dark pool dark pool was very popular today no different than any other day dark pool is linked to shorting as i brought up in the past so there's quite a lot of transactions that have occurred looking right here so with it closing at seven dollars and 56 cents it is trading between this s1 and the pivot so right now i'm looking at the one day chart so that is very strong support and resistance points so today it did bounce off this pivot point of seven dollars and 75 cents and then just to look at the quickly the four hour so these are still good support and resistance points to kind of base either buying or selling off of just of course they're not as good as the one day so just take that with a grain of salt but again with it at seven dollars and 56 cents in that aspect it is between this pivot and this r1 so more of a minuscule one 736 and then 708 so just watch for those to hold going into tomorrow but on the actual chart it is still higher percentile of the boiling band stochastic right now is at 81 so as i said the first sign of i guess cracking or just fear in the broader market whether it be brought on because of cpi or some other data points ppi on friday you are going to see more of a pulling back and that will reset a lot of the technicals so that will be happening uh, most likely tomorrow in my opinion but despite that though you still do see a nice bullish deviation so white line above the red number of retail investors were getting out today so clearly just a lot of fear maybe profit taking or whatever else but you still did see a very big i guess amount of institutions getting into sofi and as of right now especially leading into their upcoming earnings i would much rather see institutions getting in than retail because big money usually does dictate where things go so let me know your thoughts on sofi have you been buying have you been selling where do you see things going do you think by this upcoming friday or the close of business on friday do you think it's going to be above 750 or below it that seems to be the pivot point where we're standing right now i don't know if we are going to have a continuation of a run going into tomorrow if if anything i think a lot of this negativity in the market is going to roll over into tomorrow causing more of a pullback and possibly it even touching this right here which is a 736 so let me know your thoughts don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and with all that appreciate all of you watching